This episode is sponsored by Gamer G, the gaming energy drink made by gamers for gamers. Check it out in four great flavors, Purple Nurple, Red Alert, Binary Blue, and Epic Green. Hey, what is going on, my brotherhood? Welcome to another new episode of Pokemon My Ass. If you guys are excited, and I hope you are, please make sure you Sith Lightning that like button. And if you're new, use the force to subscribe. And uh, I haven't come up with a question of the day, but I'm sure we'll come up with something here soon. I'm trying a new way of recording where I just record the uh, the game and then I play it through my OBS and so we're gonna see how that works. Hopefully it works out fine. Um, last time we finished going through Rock Tunnel and we made it to Lavender Town. Now I, w I was so sure that we were supposed to be going to Vermilion City so I don't know if we're a little lost right now but we're gonna find out. I saw Cubone's mother trying to escape from Team Rocket. She was killed trying to get away. That's sad. You know how the Cubo species wear skulls, right? People will pay a lot. That's creep. Why are they going to pay for one? Some people find protection inside the Pokemon Center. Hmm. Well, we're going to find out exactly where we're supposed to go. Plus, we're going to get an encounter inside of uh, Lavender T Town. Ghost and ominous Pokemon are haunting the city. I think they were attracted by the bad feelings of the Pokemon that the Rockets killed. So let's go ahead and get our encounter real quick for Lavender Town. So we've got a Spinarak. I actually kind of like Spinarak. Um, ooh. Uh, let's try putting it to sleep. Okay, we missed. All right. So, uh, yeah. How's everything going today, guys? You know... Um, actually, you know, since we are in Lavender Town, I just thought of a perfect question of the day. Why don't you guys tell me, who is your favorite ghost-type Pokemon? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, mine is actually Dusnoir. Uh, I really, oh, oh crap, I didn't even realize I put it to sleep already. Oh, gosh. What a day. Um... But uh, I really like Dust Noir. I really didn't care. like Dust Skull and Dust Cops were cool. But when Dust Noir came out, I was like, "That's a cool Pokemon." Um, so I actually already have a nickname in, in, in mind for this guy. I've gotta look it up real quick, of course, because I can't remember the guy's name. Ooh, I just realized I'm on display capture, not window capture. That's okay. I don't mind you guys. You know, it doesn't bother me. Um, Spider and Harry Potter. I think it's Aragog. Yep, Aragog. See, I didn't even have to look it up. It spins a web using fine but durable thread. It then waits patiently for prey to be trapped. Actually, I, I just now realized I don't know if this is female. It's not. Uh, ha, ha. Um... Ooh, no, 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 no. Charlotte. It was like... It's like, what are we supposed to do? We can't name it Aragog now. We can just name it Charlotte. I don't even know if I spelt that right. I think I did. I don't know. Spelling's for adults who want to do adult things. So... Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Really? So there are believers. Let's go ahead and explore the town a little bit. People ru run out because the city became haunted. The city is abandoned and grass grew up. Oh, wow. That's different. That's why there's grass in the city. Um, what's this place supposed to be? Lavender Volunteer Pokemon House. Okay. Well, it doesn't look that abandoned. That odd Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? I don't know. Nidorino. This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. Pokemon Fan Magazine Monthly Grand Prize Drawing. The application form is gone. It's been clipped out. Someone must have applied already. It's so warm. Pokemon are so nice to hug. Creepy. Whatever. You know, it doesn't seem abandoned as they as they say it does. Well, the Pokemart is closed, I guess, so... 
there is that. Um, those horrible rockets, they deserve no mercy. That poor Cubone's mother, it was killed trying to escape Team Rocket. Aw, poor Cubone. Can you not run inside of houses? I guess you can't. Oh, wait, I just realized we haven't gone. Name Raider has moved to Vermilion. Okay. Let's see if there was something. We could have caught a Murkrow. Ooh. Not a big fan of Murkrow. I mean, Murkrow's cool and everything, but... I think it's because I've never really, like, used a Murkrow. Um, let's see what we can do inside of here. That creepy music. I came to pray for my dearly departed Cliff Fairy. Sniff, I'm almost in tears. Did you come to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon loving heart, son. My Growlithe, why did you die? You know, it's really interesting that they, uh, I am a Chandler. There are spirits up to mischief. I sense them high in the tower. It's actually really interesting that they put all this stuff into a, uh, children's game. Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that died. Okay, you're... Even we could not identify the wayward ghost. A silk scope might be able to unmask them. Okay, well, just in case, I don't want to miss anything that's over here, so... Because for once, I actually went the right way. And, of course, there's nothing over here. Gosh. I don't think we can go... Oops. I almost think we're wasting our time. Hopefully these uh, these guys aren't high level. <clears throat> but uh, last time, last time, like I said, we we made our way out of Rock Tunnel into Lavender Town, and I'm it was kind of confusing because I don't think I'm where I'm supposed to be. But we'll, we'll, like I said, we're gonna find out in this episode. Hopefully, ooh, critical hit. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> That was a nice little ski. Um, but what I was tr what I was trying to say is that also last time when I was uh, on the channel, we were talk I was talking about how I'm going to do something that I was wanting to do originally, but I never got around to doing it. Uh, starting a thing I like I like to call the vault, where I talk about comics and comic related media. So I have decided I am going to do it. And I said I was going to try to do it for today. There's a lot of editing that goes into that because I have to find the images of the comics and everything. And, um... Yeah, uh, it can't be ID'd, so... Uh, I'm just going to... That's... That's interesting. I don't think this happened in the original games. Anyway, um, because you have to find, if you want to, you know, talk about the comics, obviously, you have to find the images of the comics, but you don't want to put the writing in because you don't want people to get the writing spoiled. There's, there's editing involved. So I wanted to give myself plenty of time to get this all done and everything. So I'm going to officially announce on this video, so you guys know, the first episode of Mock Creations YouTube and Cosplays, The Vault, will come out next Wednesday on the... Let me... Where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. I'm like freaking out because I can't find my mouse. On the 20th of June. So I hope you guys are excited because I sure am. And for our first episode, we will be talking about the amazing Power Rangers co uh, comic book that is coming out right now that is out right now and the event that's going out for it called Shattered Grid. So we won't be specifically talking about Shattered Grid because I don't like to do spoilers. Um, I really hate them. Even if I like give, you know, a warning, I just can't stand spoilers. Oh, I re Okay, so we are heading the I forgot that if there's if that Snorlax isn't blocking the way that we can go to Vermillion City that way. Okay. 
But we're just going to talk about the main, the, the general story that's going on right now in Power in Power Rangers costume, uh, co comic. My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Okay, what's the TM? Return. Ooh, nice. I like that. So we're going to talk about just, you know, the general storyline for that, uh, for that comic book and the sister storyline that's going along with it right now called Go Go Power Rangers. Um, so I hope you guys are excited. I am very much excited to talk about this series. It's one of my favorite series to read about right now. Um, I really do love it. It's a fantastic comic book. I never understand. Never understand double slap. I know I've I know I'm complaining about a move that did tw uh, did more than two hits for me and dealt damage, but its name is double slap, not triple slap or. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, complain about nothing here. Okay, they, they've got a polywag, so let's go ahead and go out into Jason here. This will be some good experience for him. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited to uh, bring that to the channel. Um, I really do love comic books. You know, I'm, I'm, this is not me showing off or anything, but I literally just got a comic book order a few days ago, and... I do this about once a month, and I spent pretty much two hundred seventy dollars. So I do that about every month. So, and that's not me saying I am the authority on comics. No, that is not true at all. I just read a lot of comics, and I want to talk about it. Oh, and I'd like to give a huge shout out to uh, to Comic Drake. Um, He's been a big inspiration for me to go ahead and go through with this. Um, I love his channel. I love it a lot. Uh, he's a really nice guy. I really, I, every time I comment on something, he's always there to answer. So he's just been a really big inspiration. And I mean, I, I doubt he's watching this, but Comic Drake, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You, you're. I forgot to switch out. You know what? Let's just go ahead and switch. If something happens, something happens. If you're watching this video, uh, thank you so much for your support. Uh, well, I mean, I don't. I'm not. He hasn't really done anything direct. He's just always been just a great, nice guy. Pretty much is what I'm saying. And because of that, you know, I feel like, you know, I, I feel the love. I pretty much. I feel the love. So. Um. But I really, I, I, I really do like comics. You know, it's a big thing in my, it's a big thing in my household. My wife reads comics. My roommate reads my comics. So, I mean, heck, I've even gotten my friend Kyle, who literally doesn't read because he doesn't care to read, and he's gotten into comics. So, I mean, mostly just X Men and. Uh, What's the other, uh, um, about the car that they can travel back in the, back to the future. I literally, literally was about to say about the car that can go back to the future. Uh, I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, it's about the car that can go back to the future. What's that series it called? I don't know. Back to the future? Oh, jeez. Um, but, I mean, I read a lot of, I think, really good comic books, I think, so, plus, I mean, if, you know, if I would have done this video yesterday, first of all, I needed to finish getting caught up with the new Power Rangers comic book series, because I was on, like, issue 24 or something, and, um, there's 27 issues, Plus, I need to get caught up on uh, Go Go Power Rangers, the sister series, and I still need to read three issues of that. But now this gives me a chance to go through all the past issues and pick out some moments that I want to talk about throughout the series, because it's such a good series. Like, 
they they made they made sh they made this sh comic. Like, if you guys ever watched the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, it was very campy. It was very you know lighthearted, and there was nothing serious in that move. In that, there was almost nothing serious in that whole entire franchise. It was just a campy delight every episode with stupid themes and I mean not 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 trying to like rain on anybody's love of Power Rangers here but it was kind of you know stupid a little bit like it was obviously meant for young children you know but they've really done a good job of adapting this comic book series first of all to modern time and second of all to a much more bigger audience than just you know what they've it they just done a good job they, I, I can't wait to talk about it it's gonna be a lot of fun oh and another thing I had to do is I need to read the three annuals that came out for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers which I didn't know the, I mean I know I know what annuals are I know what you know I know where they come from and everything I just didn't know that there were three already so so that's something I have to do still Okay, yeah, so the Snorlax is still blocking the way, but we can get over... Oh, wow. Hey, Jess, if we win, I'll marry you. Really? Wow. Oh, it's Team... Oh, wait, never mind. Those are hearts. Never mind. I thought literally those were... Oh, gosh. Need to run male, need to run female. Ugh. Um, Let's do a Mega Punch to need to male... And we'll fake out the Nidoran mail. Hopefully, gosh, why did you miss? Why? So we are going to Vermilion City today. Uh, we, could, I guess, we could have gone to the route. Uh, um, just west, west, yeah, west of Lavender. But, uh, and caught a Pokemon there, too. But, I mean, we're gonna go back, so it doesn't matter. Uh-oh, that's gonna do some damage. And see, like, right there, there's a perfect example. Why does Double Kick only hit twice, but Double Slap can hit up to five times? I, I, I sound like a broken record. Um... I, I know it sound I know it sounds stupid, but you know it. I just don't understand. Oh, please do not poison me! Please do not poison me! Please do not poison me! Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So there's that couple taken care of. I can't wait to catch that Snorlax. I love Snorlax. If you guys don't know, he's my favorite Pokemon, pretty much. Um. I mean, if you guys have ever seen a picture of me, you know, you might see the resemblance. A Pokemon is sprawled out in, deep, in a deep, comfortable slumber. Alright. Let's go up here. Let's talk to this aide, see if you... Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokemon ha if your Pokedex has a complete data on 30 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak trusts me with this item finder for you. So, Mock, let me ask you, have you gathered data on at least 30 kinds of Pokemon? Let's see. Uh-oh, you've only caught... Okay, there's something wrong with this game, because this has happened already once, and... I'm looking for the Pokemon Nidorino. Want to trade one for my Nidorina? Uh, no. I mean, not that I don't like one more than the other, I just don't have one. Alright, don't think it's hard... Uh, don't you think it's hard to, uh, to think of good nicknames for Pokemon? Especially if you caught a whole bunch. In Lavender Town, there's a man who trades Pokemon nicknames. He can even help you rename your Pokemon. If you're aiming to reach Lavender Town, take Rock Tunnel. You can get to Rock Tunnel from Cerulean City. And we're literally on the route just east of uh, Vermilion City now. So, there's an item over here. Great ball. So I think literally we're just gonna we're gonna get this route over with and catch a Pokemon, 
and just get to Vermilion City. So, uh, Gamer Dirk would like to battle. He has a Voltorb. Go, Jason. All right, we're going to try a Mega Punch here. Oh, I need a drink real quick. Woohoo! Sonic Boom! What are you, Guile? What are, come on, Voltorb! Who do you think you? Who do you think this is? Street Fighter? Gosh, Magnemite! We're gonna switch out to our Flill. Ugh. But uh, yeah. Going back to talking about uh comics and everything. Um, there's just so many that I'm excited, and I'm also excited to let you guys know, like, you know, um, you know, what's coming out, we, that's another thing, uh, I'll talk about, oops, did not mean to do that, I guess this is gonna be our encounter, a drowsy, okay, um, we'll talk about, uh, reading recommendations for, you know, what, if we're talking about specific characters or if we're talking about a specific comic book series. Um, at the end of every, uh, episode, we'll talk about, uh, because what I, what I plan on doing is there will be one main episode that goes up every Wednesday. And that episode will be anything from talking about a specific series to talking about a specific character, to talking about a specific group of characters, that kind of stuff, okay? I I hate you, Drowsy. I, I literally hate you. Um, so, if we're talking about uh, a specific series, then obviously we won't be talking about reading recommendations, because the reading recommendations will be read the series. Um... But, if we're talking about a specific character, I will find some reading recommendations for that character, so you guys can check them out for yourself. And, for every uh, issue, uh, for every episode that comes out on that Wednesday, because there will always be an episode on Wednesday, I'm hoping. I will tell you what, because if you guys didn't know this, hold on, I'm going to read this. A descendant of the legendary animal Baku which is said to eat dreams, it is skilled at hypnotism. That's a weird... Uh, yeah, we'll give you a nickname. Um, who is a... You know what? I'm gonna... Famous hypnotist. Actually, are you male or female real quick? You're male. Okay. Famous hypnotist. Hmm. Actually, uh, what's that movie? Um, I can't think of the movie that uh, I'm just gonna go with. We'll name him Svengali. I like that name. That's a cool name. Um. The movie I was trying to think of is the one with all the ma magicians who are trying to steal money. Uh, I can't even think of the name of the movie, though. Or I would have picked the uh, picked the hypnotist character from that movie. Um, but, anyway, what I'm trying to say is... And I gotta switch out. Um, let's switch out Little Girl. Every time um, we do it, and uh, uh, if you guys didn't know this, new comic books come out on Wednesdays. They come out on Wednesdays of every week. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, an issue for every series comes out every week. You know, like Batman. Batman comes out, I think, every week. But Batman um, short stories, like, for example, uh, Sins of the Father, which is going on right now. A new issue of that, I think, only comes out once a month or once every two weeks. I'm not 100% sure. But it doesn't come out every week like it does the main series Batman comic. Because the main series Batman comic comes out once a week, every week. 
So what I'm saying is, I will put I will put what what uh, what comics come out for that week, and um, I just realized my mouse is on the screen, and it'll it'll just be you know. Hopefully, hopefully, if you guys are into comics, I let, let you know. If you are, hopefully, hopefully you'll tune in and check it out because I'm really excited. I'm real. I am. Yeah, I wish I could try to explain how excited I am without sounding like a dork. Uh oh. Ooh, that did some damage. Um. Ooh, don't knock me out. Oh no, a ski. Oh, we just lost little girl. <sighs> that sucks. Oh man, that really sucks. Oh, <sighs> damn it. I'm gonna try to avoid trainers so I can get to Vermilion City. Come on. Oh, we could have gotten a Vulpix. Come on. I mean, not that we need another fire type on the team, but... Wow, this place looks different. Gosh, this game looks so much different. What is this place? Oh, this is the new Name Raider? Hello, hello! I'm an official Name Raider. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? No. I see! Do come visit again. Notice, don't keep reading. I wrote and I ran. Fuck it hard, who skim and scan. You were warned. <laughs> wow. La 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 Hit the little kid, yeah sure. Ouch, don't hit me asshole! Ouch, stop! Ah, uh, ah, mommy! <laughs> oh, this game is ridiculous. Ah. Uh... I want to exchange mail with all sorts of people. I sent my Pidgey to a union room to exchange mail for me. Dear Peppy, I hope to see you soon. I heard Saffron has problems with Team Rocket. Vermilion appears to be safe. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron in the north. Well, that's nice. I guess we'll go ahead and finish exploring the town real quick. Since, you know, it's we're pretty much getting up on that 30-minute uh, mark. And we'll we'll say goodbye to our... Poorly departed little girl. Q! I just adore my seal. It's so lovable. It squeals Q when I hug it. I I chair the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So did you come to visit? Uh, hear me? Uh, visit to hear me talk about Pokemon? Good. Then listen up. My favorite. My favorite Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly love it. Hug it with sleepy, warm, and cuddly, spectacular Ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And I got a bike voucher. So eventually we're going to have to go back to Cerulean City and get the bike. So... Our chairman is very vocal about Pokemon and creepy. Hmm. My Pikachu is twice as cute as that one. I don't have a Pikachu. Chew, Pikachu! Alright. Hi, do you have a Spearow? You want to trade one for my Farfetch'd? I don't think I have a Spearow. This is a Nuzlocke. I can't just catch any Pokemon I want. That's not how it works. Hi there, can I help you? Um, let's see here. Do I have anything I need to sell? Yeah, I'll get rid of this. No, I'll keep the X defend. Get rid of the Pearl. Get rid of the Revive. Let's see if I can buy anything. Buy some Pokeballs. How many Super Potions I got? That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
Okay, I don't need any of those. Don't need any of those. Don't need any of those. Get one of those. That's ten, so third. <sighs> now I was like legit, you know, did not see I've never played Fire Red or Leaf Green, so I had no idea that the game had changed this much. So this is really surprising for me. Um let's go over here. I'm the daycare. They, the daycare's here now? Yeah, I'll take care of the precious Pokemon and trainers. If you'd like to raise your Pokemon, have a way with my wife. Oops. <laughs> Can I get to the door? I'm the daycare lady. We can raise Pokemon for you. Would you like... No. You know, I, I pretty much assume that's all she would say, but... Gahoo! I'm, I'm Hot Chop is drinking orange juice. What a, what a thoughtful matcha trying to keep his energy up. <laughs> We're careful about pollution here. We've heard about Grimer multiple, uh, multiples and toxic sludge. Multiplies toxic sludge. Do you, do you see the SSN moon at the harbor? Okay. Let's just go ahead and talk to everyone here real quick. My Pokemon was poisoned and fainted while we were walking. Yeah, that's one thing I hope never had, because I would be so mad. The urge to battle with someone you tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over, too. So I've been giving these away. Please take one. The Versus Seeker. Okay. Use that device and you'll find trainers looking for a rematch. You have to charge its battery to use it, though. Okay. Is it true that a higher level Pokemon will be more powerful, but all Pokemon will have weak points against specific types? So there appears to be a universally strong... There's no universally strong Pokemon. Even if they're at the same level, Pokemon can have very different stats and abilities. Pokemon raised by a trainer is stronger than one in the wild. Alright, well, let's say goodbye to our poorly... Uh, dearly departed little girl here. I'm sorry, little girl. Do we even... Like, do we have... Is this our first death? I believe this is our first death. Wow. I'm so sorry, little girl. Alright, so we've got some choices here. We've got the Drowsy, the Spinarak, Aeron, Diglett, uh, Minin, Heracross, Magikarp, Zubat, Sandshrew, Erica, uh, Oddish, I meant, Horsey, and Sursk. I think I'm going to get uh, Sandshrew. I really like Sandshrew. Plus, you know, we are going to be facing a Electric-type gym. And that will give us a ground, water, electric, fire, flying, and grass type. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and heal up the Pokemon. We'll wrap up the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure you answer the question of the day. What is your favorite ghost type Pokemon? Let me know in the comments section below. Next time, we will take on the rest of that route that we uh, lost Little Girl in. And we'll go north and take care of that route. And possibly board the SSAM before the end of the episode. But if you have enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, make sure you Sith Lightning that like button. And if you're new, use the force to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!